So I'm pretty sure by now you are familiar with the popular G Pro Super Light. Basically, it's a premium super light 63 gram wireless mouse that has insane specs. And with its extremely steep price tag of $150 retail, if you go on eBay, you might find it for $200 because scalpers are weird as we already know by now. Despite the immense amount of praise that is given to this mouse and often people stating that it's nearly flawless, I think there is one huge major flaw with the mouse that lots of people often overlook. This one major flaw voids the entire Minecraft community and is arguably one of the easiest things to fix and or implement. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. It's simple, free, and easy. Now enjoy the rest of the video. If you are a part of the Minecraft gaming community, you already know that the demands of a Minecraft gaming mouse are way different than like an FPS mouse. I'm a person who mains 100 to 120 gram mice, and coming from a very heavy mouse to a mouse as light as the super light is absolutely insane. The aiming is completely different, gameplay runs way smoother, and the fact that it's wireless makes it so much better. You don't have to worry about cables or anything. Hey, uh, hi Pixel. I got some crazy Skywars gameplay in this video. Clearly uncracked. If you wouldn't mind, when I reach that 30k, could I get that YouTube break? Shout out Hi Pixel. Putting all the amazing aspects of this mouse aside, now let's talk about the problems. There's really only one problem with this mouse, and that is its lack of adjustable debounce. Like, come on, Logitech. You're one of the biggest companies out there, and you still haven't been able to add an adjustable debounce option in your software. That is just ignorance to the entire Minecraft community, which dominates a huge portion of the gaming market. Not only that, putting Minecraft aside, debounce time can also be a problem in FPS games. A lot of mice have high debounce times, and the higher the debounce time, the more latency you actually experience between clicks. So debounce time can also be a problem for FPS games as well. And you know what the most ironic thing about the G Pro Super Light is? That it's actually good at drag clicking. This mouse can drag click wonderfully. Its surface texture is insane. Like, I'm able to drag click consistently all the way down the switch without any issue. This is one of the best non-drag clicking, drag clicking mice in the world. Imagine if this mouse would have adjustable debounce. This would be the most popular mouse in the world for Minecraft and gaming in general. Warning, Helix rent incoming. Logitech, you are so dumb for not adding these features to your mice. Even your G502 is insane at drag clicking. You could have better mice than any mice in the world for drag clicking, but you decide not to. Why? You could have the best wireless super light drag clicking mouse in the world, but guess what? You don't because you're too lazy. Add adjustable debuff time. It's simple. If you don't want double clicking, then just disable it. That's simple. Do what Glorious does. Look at your role model. You can be the best gaming company in the world if you do the simple fix to your mice. Glorious, a way smaller company, is doing it way better than you. It's not like you have to spend millions of dollars designing a new part and implementing new manufacturing procedures just to get the mouse to drag click. Software issues are some of the easiest things to fix and implement. Just write a few lines of code and add that adjustable debounce time slider. Oh, thank God it's over. Now let's go back to what I was saying. On the other hand, Glorious, a very mainstream and big company, has an adjustable debounce time in the software. That is one of the main reasons why their mice are so popular. They're high quality and they have adjustable debounce, which allows them to double click and drag click, which is extremely useful for Minecraft, mostly double clicking. And the cool thing about adjustable debounce time is that if you want to play an FPS game where you don't want annoying double clicks, then just turn up the debounce to a level where that doesn't really happen. But if you just don't put an adjustable debounce time in the software, then that puts Minecraft players at a huge disadvantage in gameplay. The clicking method butterfly clicking is very dependent on double clicking. I also have a Moto O wireless and it makes a great comparison to the Super Light. So the Moto O I feel has a little bit worse build quality because it is literally half the price of the G Pro Super Light. However, I'd say it's far better for Minecraft in general. 
because of its adjustable debounce time. It can drag click 40, 50 CPS without a problem, and it can double click, which makes clicking methods like butterfly clicking very viable and allows you to have better PvP performance in Minecraft. But I can tell you without a doubt that if the G Pro Super Light had an adjustable debounce time, I wouldn't even consider buying the Model O Wireless. The G Pro is simply better in all aspects, even drag clicking. Frankly, the Model O Wireless is not really that good at drag clicking. The G Pro, however, is absolutely insane. We need to start a petition for every single major gaming mouse company to add adjustable debounce time to their software. It doesn't harm anyone, it's very easy to implement, and it limits the monopoly that is drag clicking and double clicking mice which is dominated by pretty much three major companies. I have a very popular series on my channel where I mod very popular mice that don't have an adjustable debounce time, which severely limits their capabilities. For example, I have modded the G502 as well as the Razer Deathadder. Both of these mice drag click terribly. So when I modded the Razer Deathadder, that thing could drag click awesome. When I modded the G502, 80 CPS easy. If I mod the G Pro Superlight, Imagine what CPS it could get. Easily 80 CPS consistently. It just shows how much untapped potential that all these popular gaming mice had. And if these companies could honestly just put an adjustable debounce time in this software, then so many more people would be buying their mice. It would also make Minecraft a far more enjoyable game in general because lots of people don't have accessibility to top tier drag clicking or double clicking Minecraft mice. Most people just have to stick with what they got. And as a result, it's a severe disadvantage in comparison to people that have insane double clicking mice where they can register 20 CPS butterfly clicking. By the way, funny thing is that when coming off a 120 gram mouse, the aim completely changes. Like as soon as you switch to a 60 gram mouse, like the G Pro Super Light, my aim completely was off. I was not used to the inertia of the new mouse and I always aimed too far forward because I was so used to throwing the mouse around. I also noticed that I often inadvertently picked up the G Pro Super Light off the table because that's what I usually did with my heavy mouse because that's what you had to do. You couldn't really glide it across the table as easily. So you had to kind of like throw it around. Sorry if this video was a little ranty, I just wanted to get the point out and across as well as possible. In the end, the G Pro Super Light is a wonderful mouse in nearly all aspects. It's extremely well built, super light, and has great specs. But I'd say that the mouse is severely limited due to the fact that it doesn't have adjustable debounce time. The only thing separating it from being a literal perfect gaming mouse is the fact that it doesn't have that adjustable debounce option. This mouse needs to drag click and double click in order to be considered a top, top tier Minecraft gaming mouse. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.